going on everybody? How we doing? Today we're going to put the iRobot Roomba J7 Plus through an object avoidance test. I did the same exact test with the brand new Roborock S7 Max V Ultra as well as the D-Bot Omni X1. We're going to see how this compares to those two. If you guys are interested in seeing those videos, I will put the links down in the description and you can check those out. And then if you want, give me your overall opinion down in the comments, which one you think did the best job. I'll be doing a comparison video soon of all three, and I'll give you my overall best opinion and what I recommend for you guys as far as the best object avoiding robot out there. Let me go ahead and show you that I have all the information on. Object detection, automatic as well as I do have the newest software update just updated yesterday. So everything is up to date and ready to go. This thing should do a very good job. Uh, I haven't tested it for a couple of months, but with the new update and they keep adding stuff that it can see and detect, it should do really good on this video. Let me go ahead and show you the area it's gonna clean. So it's gonna start in this room, drive through here, I'm gonna have it just clean this hard floor section. And it should avoid these obstacles, hopefully with no issue. This is set up exactly like the other test. And once again, if you wanna see those, the link will be dropped below. So we have some fake dog poop here, a white cable, uh, Aquafina, a Pringles can, another pile of fake dog poop, and then another cable with the brick attached, which raises it up a little bit to see if it has trouble with one laying flat compared to one that's kind of higher up in its vision. So once again, this is the third exact video and robot I'm doing. A lot of people have commented that they want to see black cables instead of the white cables because white is a little bit easier to see. I will be doing a video shortly on that. I wanted to keep this test exactly the same so we can get through these three robots and then I'll add some black ones in later and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe. I have tons of robot vacuum videos coming out, as well as the review with the two biggest and best robot vacuums you can get, the Omni X1 and the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. That video will be out within the next few days, so stay tuned for that. It should be a good battle. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy cleaning. I am gonna go ahead and let it record the entire run. So this video will be a little bit longer. I'm doing that only because my first video, I made a couple edits to shorten the video and people were thinking that I edited out something like the robot hit a cord or something like that. So it's gonna be a longer video, but this is gonna show you exactly how it cleans. And let's get started. So I had the G7 Plus ready to vacuum. I click new job. I'm gonna have it clean just the foyer and it's gonna come on out and clean. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna do really good. All the tests that I've done so far, it's done really good with cables and dog poop, but it might run into, and this is just a prediction, I don't know, the bottle, the Aquafina bottle and maybe the can of Pringles. Because this works really, really good for what iRobot is telling it to miss. And they're adding stuff with every update. And that's why I think maybe it'll run into the Pringles can because it's not like in the database for it to avoid something like that. But yeah, I'm going to quit talking. I might add in some voiceovers when I edit. But for now, enjoy this video. Hopefully it does a really good job. I am going to switch to 4K really quick when this guy gives me an opportunity. That way it'll be a little bit clearer for you guys. But as you can see, it, it already sees the cable on the fake dog poop. You know, I'm not gonna switch to 4K. I don't want, oh, see, it just bumped that. Wow, okay. That's kind of a bummer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it run. We'll talk about it when it's done. And oof.
Actually, sorry, I'm gonna switch to 4K right now. It should be a quick switch. All right, there you go. Should have just been a tiny jump there. All right, I will be back when it's done. And when I edit, I'll throw in a couple voiceovers and that'll be the time that I see how this guy actually does. I'm not gonna sit here and watch this. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I will be back.
correct as I hear it's done. And from looking at the floor, you can tell obviously this thing does not like Pringles. It shoved that guy in the corner and said, stay out of my way, I got some cleaning to do. So that's very surprising. I had a feeling it would bump it and then sense it and then go around it like it did the water bottle. But it just plowed right over that Pringles can, which is very odd. It looks like it avoided the cables and the poop perfectly, which is really what you're going to care about in a test like this. The Pringles can and the Aquafina is just to see what it would do because of an obstacle sim in there. Some, I don't want to give away any info if you haven't seen it, but go check out my Roborock S7 Max V Ultra test I did, as well as the D-Bot and you can compare them yourselves and then tell me which ones you think did better. Uh, I will say one of the three did a perfect, and I mean a perfect job. So overall, once again, I think the object avoidance on this is really good for what it needs to avoid. Um, like I said before I ran it, they kind of have like a database of stuff that it's saving in the robot and for it to look for. Um, at first, this thing only did really good with the dog poop. And then a month later or so, they added cables, and then it avoided cables really good. And so on and so forth. Now it avoids shoes and shoelaces and all that other stuff really well. The fact that it kind of pushed it completely across the entire floor and kind of shoved it in the corner, which is just by chance, but pretty interesting nonetheless. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and see what the app gives you. And then we'll compare the apps as well when I do the comparison video. And we'll see which one is the best app. So here is the J7's map and the objects that it sensed. So as you can see, it's in the foyer. You can clearly see the dog poop there. This one's more like kind of, I guess, a wide shot. You can see the dog poop there. You can actually see the Pringles can, but it's kind of in the back. Here is the cable that it sensed. There's the dog poop again. Great shot of the cable there. Um, it actually detected that uh, door springy thingy. Okay, let's go ahead and review this. That's what I was trying to do when I click on it. Because you can tell it. I'll show you. Let me show you. So first, and it even highlights the dog poop. And I'm going to do temporary obstacle here because the dog just absolutely destroyed the floor there. Now we have the foyer, dog poop, once again, that's temporary. Cable's gonna be temporary. Poop, once again, temporary, temporary. But then this, instead of it sensing it and telling you every time it bumps into one of these in your house, so we're gonna submit the review. This is also gonna send this to iRobot. So it takes all these different pictures of the dog poop or fake dog poop that these people are using in their house and it's updating it to the database so when it sees fake dog poop and knows just how well it's going to do. All right, once again, what did y'all think? I think for what it needed to avoid, it did a fantastic job. I wish it would have avoided the water bottle and the Pringle can, but to me, that's not really a big deal. I don't know what else would be sitting on your floor that is that size that it would knock over and, you know, mess up a cleaner run or make a mess in your house. If you're into or need object avoidance, I would highly recommend you check out those other two videos. Once again, one of them is the clear winner, and I will announce that when I do the three-way comparison video of what you just saw. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Let me know if you want to see anything specific on any of this stuff, and I will make that happen for you. Have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you guys soon.